mouth announce the August member of the month. Yes. It is our amazing Rick. He is a tech guy who is next door and he was just asking about the member wall. Whoa, whoa, yesterday. So now he's gonna be he's on. gonna be on there. His face is gonna be up there. Look for him. Hey everybody, we are here with the amazing Rick and he has graciously offered to do a video testimonial for us. So Hello Internet. <laughs> How did you learn about foot therapy? Uh, I work next door. <laughs> Same little shopping center, and we do daily walks in the afternoon to just like stretch our legs. So yeah. I walked by about probably a hundred times before I finally stopped in. <laughs> Were we randomly waving at you every time too? Uh, probably. <laughs> uh, if not, hanging up scary balloons about horror movies. Oh, that that we actually did do, right, guy? <laughs> we did do that. <laughs> We all float here. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, what brought you into Truss Chandler specifically? Um. Well, the convenience of the location definitely helps. Heck yeah. But as far as like floating specifically, mm -hmm. I had a old coworker uh, that worked in the same building as me who used to do it, and he would talk about it a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And eventually, curiosity just got the better of me. So I walked in with a very curious mind and asked a whole bunch of questions, and then signed up to try it. And mm -hmm. I think I was in. I either did it. I think I actually did it right on the spot day. that same day. Yeah. yeah. Came back. No. Or just redid it. Just did just it. Right showed there. up right after work and was like, "Tell me about this." That is like, awesome. We were like, I love when that happens. happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what surprised you the most when you floated? Uh, when I first got in, I was just surprised that I even floated, honestly. <laughs> like, I did like, just whoa. the physics of the whole thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and uh, just the sensory deprivation was something I only experienced once uh, audibly. I went to the Grand Canyon, and we were just like checking out different edges. Yeah. Like, we just walk up to the cliff. And at some point, I walked down the path like two bends or something. And it was just like dead quiet. I thought it was super cool. So that feeling came back, which was awesome. But then it was kind of paired with the like I kept the light off, so the sight was gone. Um, but also like kind of wasn't like I was yes. blinking and I didn't notice like any difference. And I was still kind of a little bit seeing stuff. Yeah. Not like seeing in the inside of the pod, like yeah. borderline hallucinating. Yes, and, know exactly what you're talking about. Yep. And then the, then the feeling of not knowing like where the water and the air stopped. I, I wasn't ready for it to be so humid. So it like, took a little bit to get used to. Yes, first time can be a little challenging, especially. Yeah, but then after a while, like, it was just super easy to just relax. And then the next thing I knew, it was over. And I just like had no idea how much time had passed, and it was done. That is so cool. Uh, I love that. Why do you continue to choose us to be a part of your float journey? Oh, um, because the staff is awesome. <laughs> well, yeah. No, but, but, yeah. Thanks. I mean, it sounds patronizing. Thank We're you. Great. <laughs> I mean, it does sound patronizing, but at the same time, like I said, I came in the first time and I just had like, I just berated the staff with questions mm -hmm. and they were just like super nice and informative and explained everything I wanted to know to me. We're not scared. Yeah, we got no. you. <laughs> we got you. Um, what are the main benefits you see from floating? Um, so I'm going to list three yes. that, benef that affect me. One, I messed up my ankle a few months ago, I tore, sprained, and chip fractured my ankle oh, all at once. Oh my goodness. Um, and it was, it wasn't, it wasn't like hurting ever, but walking around on it, it was very easy to agitate it. Yeah. And even keeping it elevated was just kind of like weird and uncomfortable. But at the same time, like I still needed to do that to help with the swelling oh, totally. and try and get everything back to normal. But floating, you're just, you're level the whole time and you can just relax and it elevates the ankle for me. So it kind of manages the swelling. Uh, for a while there was, the, my ankle was like very blown up and the thinnest it ever was was after I floated. Mm. Um, but the other one is just like I work on computers all day uh, and then yes. I go home and watch TV or mm -hmm. do more stuff on the computer and regardless of whether or not it's like productive or healthy or whatever yeah. it's still nice to just <laughs> unplug yeah that's for, not a debate we need to have right yeah, yeah. No. Even, even for just an hour mm -hmm. and then like to the point where the first time I did like I had my like my phone was on silent I was in the pod I came back out and I was just like I don't really need to turn this back on and I just like left it off the rest of the night that is so Mm -hmm. That is so awesome. Love that. He inspired me to practice that. <laughs> Hashtag phone silence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The other one is just, I feel so relaxed afterwards, uh, which is just a feeling that is hard to hold on to. Yeah. Um, 
with being busy with either, you know, whether whether or not you're being lazy or productive, you're, right. just, you're busy, you're doing something, and just feeling relaxed in the pod and afterwards is just, like, I don't know where else really to get that feeling unless mm -hmm. I waste my whole day Saturday sleeping, right. which is... Kind of a waste of time. It's a good way to relax without getting what I refer to as a do-nothing headache. Oh, there you go. Ooh, I like that. Um, where like yeah. if I just spend a whole Sunday where I just watch TV for like 10 hours, like I will get a headache mm -hmm. from just laying on the couch all day. Um, all right, so <clears throat> any tips to someone who's considering floating but hasn't done it yet? Uh, don't touch your face. Yeah, that's a good one. Definitely got salt in my eye the first time. Oh, yes, I actually think I did too. <laughs> <laughs> um, but fortunately, very informative staff explained how to handle that. So I took care of it, it was pretty easy. Um, honestly, the hardest thing the first time was just trying to lay still. Yes. Um, and it's, it's, it's a really hard thing, I think, to offer advice about because you just have to try it once yeah. and like understand what it is and be used to it from that experience and yes. then from there you can just ease into it a lot yeah it gets easier. better what we always say is try it at least three times yeah get in there the first time right like mm -hmm. you said just and then try it at least three times and then you'll really start to develop exactly what it is what you're getting from it and all the benefits from it so if you had to sum up how you feel about floating in one word what would it be uh i think that word would just be yeah <laughs> it's like, yes, I want to do that. Yes, it's good. Yes yeah. to all the questions about it. And then, yes. like, afterwards, it's, you That's just feel so relaxed. You're just like, yeah. Yeah, this is I love good. it. I love right, it. So we're awesome. going to um, wrap up. Oh, wait, actually, um, Kylie, you had a very cute story. <laughs> <laughs> so, as he was looking at the wall, we were talking about all of our members of the month, our past members of the month. And you know what we decided? Is that you deserve to be on the wall? Oh my god. <laughs> you're on the wall, man. So, you are more, more than worthy. Oh. You're absolutely supposed to be there. You belong on that wall. What? And show us your goodies. Yeah, oh, read the card. Read the card. Oh, the card. oh boy. This I expect yeah, tears. I expect yeah, crocodile gonna tears. Pull those out. <laughs> we all love when you visit just to re-energize with some oxygen. Thank you for being a valuable member of our float fam and for always jumping in to help when needed. You're a rock star and our August member of the month. Yes. Our, the whole team. <laughs>